Welcome back. Fairmont's NASA facility hosted a ribbon cutting and a renaming ceremony today to recognize local and national aerospace hero. Ronnell Hunt spoke with political officials and others on what this means to them. Hundreds of local residents, state officials, government employees, and others came together to celebrate the renaming of NASA's V&V Center to the Katherine Johnson Independent Verification and Validation Facility, acknowledging the hard work of one woman who broke many barriers in the field of STEM and NASA as a whole. Through Johnson's in-depth work on trajectory and verification projects, including the Alan Shepard and John Glenn Freedom 7 mission, as well as several Apollo missions, her legacy was recognized by many people in attendance. For Dr. Katherine Johnson in particular, she's one who said, you know, you don't have to just dream, you can do the math too. Mm -hmm. And that's what really takes it off planet. Calculations and the, and the math that she did for NASA during a, its beginnings is, is unbelievable to think now when we have computers doing these same calculations. Both of Catherine's daughters say although their mother was brought into the national spotlight through the movie Hidden Figures and books written about her work, Johnson never looked beyond helping other people through her efforts. She wrote the book. She said, don't write it for me, write it for them because I want them to learn something every day. That's how you grow. Without this in mind, it was just doing what she loved to do. And when you do that, she said she never worked a day in her life. Mm. That's how much she enjoyed it. Johnson's joy of making a change now cemented into West Virginia to encourage today's generation to do the same, inspire others through hard work. We want to inspire that grade school, elementary school uh, boy or girl to want to go into science, to want to go into math, to want to excel, to want to keep learning. And that's what I think she symbolizes to me. After speaking with many guests, they all have the same vision with saying that they hope by seeing this facility it encourages the next generation to press forward to achieve their dreams no matter what. Reporting in Fairmont for 12 News, I am Ron L. Hunt.